It's a Unix system. I know this. A Lego Unix system. I Wait, what? Huh, what do you know? It actually is a Lego Unix system. Welcome back to Hedgehog Studios, I'm Jaconi, and today we're talking Lego. Not Legos. If you say Legos, I'm pretty sure they send a Danish shit squad after you. Now, what we will be looking at today is the Jurassic World, almost said Jurassic Park, Jurassic World set 75932, Jurassic Park Velociraptor Chase. That was a mouthful. Now, I originally saw Jurassic Park in Little Rock, Arkansas at the Breckenridge Theater of my friend Pat Springer. Hi, Pat! Now, sadly, like many theaters of my youth, it has since been demolished and replaced. I did see Finding Nemo at the new Breckenridge Theater, and Pat was there too. Hmm, go fig. But that's not important right now. Today, like I said, we're looking at Lego. Today we're looking at a Lego set that recreates a scene from the film. Weighing in at 360 pieces, this is a pretty decent sized set. So let's boot up the door locks, hold on to your butts, and get into this. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Now, so far, just looking at the box, I'm liking the set so far. Um, it's got a lot of little nifty details uh, that reference the film. You clearly have the door locks and the kitchen, a large sausage, which I don't remember that playing into the thing. Anyway, the ladder, the cold storage area, and it comes with Dr. Grant, Dr. Sattler, Lex, and Tim. I think I may have to look up which set comes with Nedry. I only have this one so far. But today, this is the one we're taking a look at. So let's unbox it and have a look-see. Now, as always, I have my handy-dandy X-Acto knife. We've been over the safety precautions, which will eventually fail. That's okay, though. To quote Patrick Swayze from Roadhouse, pain don't hurt. At least I think that was the quote. Eh, doesn't matter. I'm just glad it says name right. I'm terrible with names, just so you know. So at some point, I will say names and get them wrong. Because that's my wheelhouse. It's what I do. All right. Let's see. Oh, sticker sheet. That's cool. I do like it when they print directly on the Legos, though. It's more durable in the long run. But that's okay. So we have two, uh, two instruction booklets here. Look with one and two. And three big baggies. Three long Technic pieces. And Raptor bits in a bag. Not bad at all. Now, to build this puppy.
All right, so now we finished building it. Um, came with a lot of extra pieces. Either that or I'm terrible. One or the other, but that's okay. Um, now, let's give it the, the once over and review here, shall we? Overall, this is a nice little set. It's got a ton going on with it. You have the uh, embryo storage area, the control area, and the kitchen. Now, obviously, it's not incredibly expansive and uh, whatnot, and but uh, you know they did cram a lot into this little bitty set. Um, the minifigures are nice. I very much like the minifigures, even though I can't get Dr. Sattler to stand up, it seems. Um, the Velociraptor is awesome. I love this guy. The, the, uh, just the, uh, detail on him. I mean, look at those teeth. Anyway, um, but no, the best part about him, in my opinion, is the little, you know, uh, retractable claws on the feet. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. I love that. I actually, I love this guy. I want more of them. One Velociraptor is not enough. And he stands up without his tail having to be on the ground. That's, that's great too. He's well balanced. Uh, I, he's awesome. I've said that. I'm repeating myself. That's awesome. I'll stop now. So anyway, um, again, you have this little gun. Uh, this is inexplicable to me because I, I seem to recall that uh, they had a shotgun. Uh, I could be misremembering that, but I know they, they didn't have this little sci-fi thing, but whatever. We'll let that go. Um, the computer monitors are way more high-tech than they were in the movie, frankly. <laughs> but I'm, I'm cool with that. I can I can deal with that. Um, the kitchen set comes with a whole lot of stuff, including this sausage link, um, and this chocolate bar and this cake. I assume that is supposed to be a reference to the food that, uh, was on the buffet table that, uh, Lex and Tim tear into when they get back to the visitor center. Um, this is nice. It can come through the glass. So, a lot of little references to the movie that work out great. The door locks, um, see here, oh, the door locks, as you can see, are functional. So, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so, it's got functional door locks, and this ladder is nice. I've, I've never had a Lego set that had a buildable ladder like this. They've always been just like one piece. Um, so that was kind of neat. The little A-frame ladder they've got going there. That was, that was pretty good. Um, let's see, what else can I say about this? Uh, the stickers are nice. Uh, it occurs to me I should have scanned them into my computer in case I needed, uh, to do something with them later, but I did not. So that's okay though. Um, I think that about covers uh, everything I can say about this set. I mean, the stickers are nice, the layout's good, uh, the minifigures and the Velo I mean, the Velociraptor, wow. But the minifigures are good. Uh, I very much think this is quite a good set. Let's see, as far as playability go, you've got a ton of stuff you can play with on here. So playability is certainly, uh, certainly there. It's got a high playability factor, in my opinion. Um... The layout, the presentation, I, you know, I'm very impressed. That, that's what I'm going to say about this. I'm very, very impressed. So as I said, there's a lot going on with this set. And therefore, unlike Dr. Grant, I have chosen to endorse it. I'm giving it four and a half out of five stars. Um, there's a couple of things that I think probably could have been better. A couple of things that are a little weird, like the gun and the sausage link. But aside from those things, I think it's a tremendous set. Uh, anything they could have done to improve it would have required it to be a larger set to begin with. Um, so that's uh, all I got today. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I would like you to like and subscribe and comment. Tell me anything you want in the comments. It's great. 
Uh, check out my Patreon and uh, my other videos, and I will see you back here next time. Laters!